Hey, what's up you guys? Anthony here from DIY Auto Tech. Today we're coming to you with a quick video. We're gonna be doing a replacement on a 2002 Toyota 4Runner blower motor for the air conditioning and heating unit. So we'll talk about that real quick. We're gonna use OEM Toyota parts. This is gonna be for any third gen 1996 to 2002. Basic tools you're gonna to need is a quarter inch ratchet with a eight millimeter socket, a little two to four inch extension, and a number two Phillips head screwdriver. If you wanted to get a little fancy, you could go with a little uh, electric impact for removal if you want. I've got a 3 8 here with a quarter inch converter. So let's get to it. Here's the newest part number so far from Toyota filmed in April of 2020. Here on this customer car, the air conditioning would intermittently not work on all positions, all settings. So uh, obviously with something like that, we're not worried about a resistor. We're looking at maybe the panel, the unit, if it's got power and ground, et cetera. So I always do a tap test first on stuff like this. I'll do a light tap up here, light tap around the panels down below. And if I can access the motor, which I can here, I'll do a quick tap test. When I did that, the motor would respond and turn on, or if I went over speed bumps, if it wasn't working, it would turn on. So I knew the motor here was kind of glitching. I pushed on the connector to make sure the connector was seated and I did have good power and ground. So we know the unit's bad. First step, we're gonna remove this little sub panel here for Phillips screws. Okay, we're gonna apply a little light pressure underneath. You can usually get a hand under here and remove the, the panel, but if you really wanted to, you can get a little panel tool like this just to help pop it. These are really cheap. You can find them online or at Harbor Freight. Or a flathead screwdriver works well too for this. Now we need to move this panel here. It's just gonna pop out. So we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, now we've exposed the motor here. There's gonna be three bolts holding it in. You can either use the flathead screwdriver or you can use the eight millimeter socket. Just like that. We'll take the old motor out, compare it with the new one. Old motor looks just like the new motor. Part numbers match. So let's get the new one in the car. We'll get it centered again up in the hole. We'll bolt it up and then we'll put the connector on last so that we're not dangling any of the wires. All right, that's in there nice and tight. Let's get our connector back in. Make sure the clip is facing the right orientation. Listen for a positive click and we can button everything back up. Get the side kick panel into place. We'll just kind of slide it forward. Be gentle here. You don't want to break any of this flimsy plastic. Okay, that's in. Now we can put this panel back in, a couple of snaps, make sure you've got the right orientation. Now we can screw that back in. Now start the car and check that AC out. Oh yeah, fan's blowing nice and fast now before it either turn off or it was variable due to the blower being bad, so. All right guys, that's gonna complete this job on this 2002 Toyota 4Runner. I've got the old motor here. Big point here is you gotta buy OEM, guys. Stuff like air conditioning, brakes, sensors, any of that stuff, you really need to go with original equipment manufacturer. It's more expensive, 
but it's gonna be a way better part. Your tools are also just as important. So you don't need to spend a fortune on tools, but you wanna get some good stuff. You know, not a cheap set of screwdrivers, a nice little Westward set will do you just fine. I use a lot of Pittsburgh Pro Tools. So yes, Harbor Freight and their Icon Series. So something like this little quarter inch flex head ratchet works really well, lifetime warranty, and it's affordable. Now, some tools you'll spend a little more money on. This Milwaukee fuel set here, this M12 impact ratchet. It's $250, but it's gonna make you money in the long run. You got some tools back here, obviously. You're gonna spend more money on certain items, right? This breaker bar was about 100 bucks, but it's a nicer quality one, an icon brand. So tools are gonna make you money. You're gonna spend the money and spend good money off the bat. You buy cheap twice, remember that. I'm gonna leave some links in the description below for some tools that I would recommend to you guys for this job. And thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and check out my other channel if you're interested in some of my hobbies outside of auto repair uh, over at www.youtube.com slash ultralightbackpacker. We'll see you on the next video.